All right. Hi, Dad. Hi, Sam. Got more questions for you. Awesome. Teach me more Another things about sound. Venture of um, father daughter sound adventures or tech world. <laughs> or as Dad said before, Sammy asks Pop. pop. <laughs> Good Sam name. asks Pop. Sam asks Pop. Um, yeah, I. so this actually came up in a previous video and then also again in another previous video where you misunderstood my question. Yep. Um, as one would. Yeah. As I do. As you do. I want to know how in the heck sound from the outside world gets into a cable because that seems whack. So we are talking about it. interference is the word you gave it. Mm -hmm. Uh, tell me about interference, Dad. All right. Um, yeah, I mean, we spend a lot of time in audio trying to connect everything up properly, mm -hmm. making sure all the wires go to the right places. You mispatch a mic, you know that. It, there's no question think, that yeah. it goes to the wrong spot. You yell that. You, you get, yeah, or you yell at somebody, whatever. <laughs> you yell at yourself. I don't know. The, um, so we spend so much time getting everything soldered right, everything uh, connected properly. A lot of little and, cables going everywhere. And then we've got sound getting in the cables. It wasn't supposed to be there. I mean, um, what's this for? Where does it come from? <laughs> and, and if you zoom out a bit and you start to think about, well, I mean, how does radio mm -hmm. get from the radio station to the radio? You know, it's transmitted from antenna to antenna. Yeah. Uh, through radio waves um, and if we look at that and that kind of really puts it uh, is what's happening is these wires that we have running everywhere sometimes act like antennas mm -hmm. and we don't want them we spend actually a lot of we put a lot of effort into making them not be antennas mm. and that's done by uh, shielding wires putting uh, shielding on everything grounding things out and protecting them from what these shields are doing is they're protecting uh -huh. them from outside interference and pr trying to prevent them from becoming antennas okay so i have to ask yes do you think that this is what people are trying to do when they put tinfoil hats on um i think that you could be right that they're trying to make their heads not be antennas, you know, and prevent the outside RF radiation and uh, interference. They, they're trying to mm -hmm. reduce interference. Mm -hmm. um, fortunately, or unfortunately, depending on your perspective of the, uh, the yeah. aluminum foil people, um, putting an aluminum foil hat on is more probable to create an antenna <laughs> than, than to prevent because it's not grounded unless yeah. you've got a ground wire going to earth mm -hmm. you've just got a spurious metal metal object like like a filling that yeah. could pick up radio waves and fillings and do amplify that into their heads yeah. so yeah they're probably increasing their exposure <laughs> possibly i mean to anything yeah. that resonates Maybe there's something that we don't know about. There might be something we don't know about that they're protecting well, their heads there's from. There's a lot of things we don't know about, but those are manufactured <laughs> in there. <laughs> well, there's a lot of things we don't want to know about. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I should throw away my tinfoil hat. Um, you have some tinfoil hats? No. <laughs> <laughs> I wish. Um, Anyways. Was that in Breaking Bad, that guy had a tinfoil hat. Yeah. I don't What's remember. It? I oh, did. Oh, but no, not Breaking Bad in the other one. X-Files? No, the lawyer dude that was... Um, uh, oh, yeah, Better Call Saul, which yeah, I did yeah, not yeah. watch. Oh, so good. <laughs> um, okay, so how does the RF interference get in the cables? What do we do? Let's let's build... A, I built, put together a little test rig for okay. this exact thing for you. Um, so to do this, we're going to need those headphones, headphones over there. Yeah. And what I've got here is an XLR cable okay. with banana plugs on the end plugged into the inputs of this Tascam recorder. Mm -hmm. And you should be able to hear this. Nope. Yeah. Okay. And that? Yes. Okay. So that's me touching pin three, pin two. 
and then you don't hear me touching yeah. ground, right? Now, to show you what ground does, if I touch, oh, if I touch these to ground, oh, okay, we're good. Now there's nothing because I've grounded everything oh, out. Yeah. When ground is there, everything is immune. Oh. Because they're all shorted, but you can't get signal there. Okay. Nothing could get on. Nothing there. could yeah. get on, even yeah, if you because were because it'd be grounded out. Got it. Okay, but as soon as I let these live, they become susceptible to interference. Well, so we need them live in order to pick up mic signals, but mm -hmm. we need them protected. So we have to find a balance. We have to protect them from spurious sounds, but still leave them not grounded out mm -hmm. in order to grab the microphone that's at the end of the cable. Got it. Now, we can, as I grab this cable here, and we'll be able to listen to this on the YouTube. I'll put this okay, in. Okay, cool. cool. So cool. I can grab this cable. No sounds. You, you, grab, you can do it. You can grab the cable. Nothing, right? There's nothing. Now, what if, if you grab the end of it? Nothing. Buzz, buzz, buzz. Okay, now don't touch the metal. Touch the, just touch the wire. No, yeah. Anything? No. No, okay. So now, these wires here, because these are balanced lines, there's equal and opposite. Oh, wait. So do you... No, okay. Sorry. They're equal and opposite. Now, what happens is I'm just going to extend these out longer. Okay. With these clip leads. And now, if I separate these, now grab it. It's buzzing. It's buzzing. Now put them together next to each other. It's not buzzing anymore. Why isn't it buzzing anymore? <laughs> There's no buzz. That's because the balance line signals on the input preamps mm -hmm. look at the difference between the two cables. And when, the diff when they're next to each other, mm -hmm. there's no difference. Yeah, because they're canceling each other out. The because you're putting the same amount of buzz on both and oh. it's canceling it out. But And even if I do this... Oh, do, no, I can hear it if I do yeah, this. Exactly. Huh, okay. So if you affect just one... It's picking it's, up that electrical signal in here and pulling it up. And when you have a microphone on there, the microphone is putting the exact opposite. So it's doing the most. It's making mm. it as different as it possibly could be. Mm. Okay. So the microphone output is equal and opposite. Okay, wait. And also, you said something earlier when we mm -hmm. were talking about this. You said that when you ho are holding this line, mm -hmm. that it's not actually you that's like generating oh, this that's electricity. That's not the sound of Sam, no. That's not no, the sound this of isn't Dad. the sound of Sam. No. This is the sound of the house? Yes. That sound right there you're hearing is probably some... I didn't listen to it here, but I know what it is. It's going to be... Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, that's 60 cycles. Sound of Sam. Well, no. <laughs> it's similar to the sound of Sam, but the sound of all Sams and all dads and everybody <laughs> who lives in a house. <sighs> and if we were in Europe, that sound would be... Mm. It would be different? Yeah. Because the electricity that they use is different? Yes. They use 50 cycles. And if we were in a forest? It would be silent. You wouldn't hear that. That's crazy. So what you're hearing is... The I'm an electromag antenna? Yes. I'm this an antenna? You are hearing I need a tinfoil yourself. hat? You are hearing the electromagnetic I don't know, maybe we should get a tinfoil hat. Of the hat. wall power of the house, and you're acting as an antenna and inducing it onto the cable. That's crazy. You're the tinfoil hat for these wires. Would... Do you think that... What would happen if we used your fancy directional mic would that have anything what could you turn me into an antenna with the directional mic or is That's that a too high different? frequency thing i you know we could probably get some sound that that thing causes all kinds of problems for us because if we point that at this mic, mm -hmm. then it picks up noise yeah and there's that's, a, that's another aspect now but that is a good point there are what we're listening to now is 60 cycle hum being mm -hmm. induced by us. Mm. But if we have a cell phone, do you have your cell phone here? Yeah. Make a phone call and put your headphones on. Okay, I'll call you. Okay. Put your headphones on. Hey Siri. Call father. Calling father. Mobile.
Um, Are you hearing the tick, 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 tick? Oh, kind of. I got... Not in that way. Okay. But I'm hearing a buzz. When your phone's near there? Yeah. Okay. Um, it, these probably might not be working as well, and it might show up in there too and not on mm, our... Not in the uh, headphones. But I can definitely hear it when it comes near it. Um, <laughs> you know, a lot of times if you have your cell phone sitting on a mixing console or you're sitting on top of a piece of audio gear in a studio, a phone call come and you hear this... That's crazy. I wonder if, like, also cell phone technology has changed since then. Um, no, I heard it yesterday. Oh, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> I was Besides doing, that, I though. was doing a video, and I can actually, one of the videos I did the other day, uh, you can hear my cell phone. Oh, yeah? It was on silent, and you can hear it going tick, 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 tick. Oh, that's crazy. Um, in so fact. So I wonder if we can hear it on there. We might be able to, I mean, I could, um, here, keep them entertained for a minute. Oh boy, we're keeping them entertained. Uh, well, I guess that this is a good time to talk about. If you guys want to follow me on Instagram, I do have an Instagram called Samufacturing, and I have a bunch of stuff just uh, showing things I'm building for sound tools. So check that out. If you want to ask me any questions that you want to ask Dad, hit me up there. Yeah. I gotta make you a plaque, a semi-factory. Yeah, plaque. He, I've been asking for months. All right, go okay. ahead and call, turn your um, call you. Thing down. Yeah, call me. Okay. And I'm going to set the phone near the microphone and the wire, and see what happens. Oh. Oh well. I mean, I do hear it clicking, but I think it was just your phone, maybe, beforehand. Well, you shouldn't hear anything. No, no noise has come out of this. Oh, well, yeah. I mean, <laughs> but I can. Hold on. Put your phone back there. Decline it. <laughs> your phone's generating a lot of noise, but it isn't specific for the call. Huh. But... Oh, you want me to call you again? Yeah. Exciting stuff. <laughs> In this episode, you watch a daughter call her father. No, we're not really getting what I'm looking for. It might Maybe show it'll up, show in up this. on there. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, we'll see. But it still sounds um, funky, and that's fun. Yeah. But, um. Yeah, so there are, are, and if you have a venue or a recording studio near a radio station, uh, you know what the funny story is, is um, in Germany, it was very popular for them, I don't know, I, I, might have, I don't know when it happened, but they have one, it's, uh, a lot of cities have one giant antenna for all That's the so TV cool. and radio stations <laughs> for the entire city, just one giant antenna. That's so cool. And I was do we were doing a show and we're getting all this RF Whoa. interference and I, I was like, everything's got these uh, radio stations, German radio stations showing up on the guitar amps and I was like sitting in front of the house, I could not solve it, I was running around, what is going on, what's going on? And I look up and framed by the stage is this giant tower. I was like, dude, what's that? He goes, ah, oh, this is the, you know, radio stations for all of Munich, the entire... <laughs> Every single transmission is coming out of this one no. tower. Okay, so what was happening is, this was a great, great adventure. Um, what was happening was, it was coming down, and if you, if the Dave Lee would hold the guitar up over his head, it would be quiet. And if he put it down by the stage, oh. it got loud. Was the stage being the antenna? Yes. What'd you do? I. This is going on. It, the band has gone off stage. We got a support act. It was. Um, uh, he was getting ready to go on. I was like, we need to find a way of grounding the stage. And like finding like, uh, during dinner time at a concert in Munich, finding you know several hundred feet of copper wire and putting in a giant star ground into a, <laughs> into a, a ground stake, which would have been ideal. 
and getting a crew of stagehands that don't speak great English happen. to get all this to happen was not another thing. But I sit in a catering like, what the heck am I going to do? I was like, wait a minute, salt water is a good ground. Salt water, salt water. Oh. I sent out for five pounds of salt. They said, give me all the catering salt. And they brought me oh. these bags of salt. And I got a box of Evian waters that we had. And I got all the stage hands and I showed them how oh my what we God. did. It, it was an aluminum stage and they were sitting on a grass field and the grass was wet. I, I assumed, I figured that if I could get the aluminum stage grounded to the, the, gra the ground, if I could get a connection between yeah. the wet ground below and the aluminum down posts, I would do it. So what I did is I had them dump salt. Oh, I dumped God. salt, a, a ring of salt, down the side from the aluminum down to the ground. And then I had them slightly wet it. And we did every single, I just sent a crew under there and did every, every single, single st every single stand up on the entire stage. And meanwhile, um, the support act was playing. And um, the first support act had finished playing. I got them to go out on stage and they checked it and it was quiet. And I'm like, oh my goodness, it worked. But I wasn't sure that it worked. I was pretty sure it worked, but it might have just gone away. Maybe they stopped transmitting. So then Dinosaur Jr. played. And then when they finished, they came out on stage, they checked it, and everything worked. And it came up. I was like, oh my gosh, I think it worked. I'm not sure if it worked, but I think it worked. So we go, and about five songs in, six songs in, I get a radio call from stage that says that um, the radio stations are coming back. <gasps> oh, no. So I ran all the way up the stage, ran underneath, and you could see the lines of water where the salt had been wet. Had it had been dried. And dried out. Oh, my God. So you I just sent had to the crew under with another case of Evian and another bag of salt, and the sound went away again. Oh, my God. It was one of the coolest. That's um, so cool problem solving adventures yeah. but that was a giant yes it was a giant antenna so that's how to fix a stage when it's a giant antenna um <laughs> <laughs> come back next week for some more sound tips yeah <laughs> that's crazy um, that's yeah, crazy that's fun stuff yeah well cool all right thanks sam yeah thanks dad that was good that i forgot really about good. that it was, it was a, um that was a fun it's a good story thank you for sharing and thank you for teaching me about interference all right, cool. And um, yeah, I, I'll, tr I'll try and do a demo where I can get that cell phone to go. Tick, 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 yeah. tick, tick. Uh, I'll fun. find some way to recreate that because that's um... interesting. All right, well, we'll do it again. Thank you all for joining, Sammy and I. And um, if you want more advanced stuff, you can also join as a member. And um, I have a bunch of videos up there where I go much more in depth. And I pre-release a lot of stuff and also do weekly Zoom chats. Yeah. Cool, cool. Right. Yeah, and follow me at Sammy Factoring and you can contact me there. Awesome. Thanks. Right. Bye. Thanks, Sammy. Thank you. Let's go pet the dog. <laughs> <laughs>